What is uh, the fourth downside to real estate? When you own real estate, you're taking on an additional level of additional liability. If somebody were to get injured on your property, who do you think they're going to sue? The owner. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody and anybody. And whosoever name is on the deed is going to, uh, is, is subject to that lawsuit. Okay. But there's a few solutions here. A simple one is just increase your liability insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay. But also uh, you could put your property inside an LLC. And then by doing that, it uh, any lawsuits cannot go outside the LLC, meaning they can't come after your house or your business, only what is inside the LLC. And if you wanted to take it a step further, there's uh, an asset protection trust. Now, I would imagine probably 90% of people listening to this podcast should at least have a living trust. That living trust avoids probate when you pass, but it does not provide asset protection. There's some additional trusts that do provide that. And I will tell you on a personal story, I, I knew I needed to put my properties in an LLC. <laughs> Just got lazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and part of it is I didn't know how to do it because it's from out of state and I didn't have a contact over there. Uh, so I just continued to put it off. But then I got an email with some repairs and some pictures and <laughs> that property, uh, there was a repair bill to for to fix eight bullet holes Dang, in my property. It is in the hood. Uh, and then at that point, I'm like, man, uh, I, it's time for me to really take care of business. So I went and uh, I contact, I called the attorney that I've been talking to before and I'm like, hey Rob, it's time for us to pull the trigger. Yeah, We need to set up this asset protection trust. And what this does is after two years, anything uh, inside the trust is protected from lawsuits. So my house is gonna be in there, my uh, businesses, and my real estate. And to make it even more uh, uh, inclusive, we started an LLC for the property. And since I have multiple properties, in theory, you may need multiple LLCs, but depending on some states, what we did is we set up what's called a series LLC. So we have one LLC, which owns all the properties, but we're able to kind of divide them into series, which is kind of like a separate LLC without having to pay the annual fees uh, and, and, and the setup fees. Now on that note, I think, I don't know when this is gonna drop, but I think the following week after this drops, we're interviewing the attorney who set up my asset protection trust. So that's additional liability that you don't have when typically when some other investments. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, I know you're like this one. And if you wanna learn how investors use infinite banking to increase their returns and lower their taxes, check this out. And if you want to, if you have some questions and want to see if infinite banking is for you, hop on a discovery call with us. Link for that will be in the description.